scarce, the right to applicant to learn one is Sanjeev Kumar Mishra. His mother is the free in love, free in love with her. That's why like you are being asked to pray for us. No, no, you are you. You are a, a Christian in person. And we should have opened your band. Please go out, open your band, come back to us. It will take one second. Mr. Advocate General, take a seat. Thank you, Mr. We are paying for the benefit. Really, hey, 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 please wait. Please wait for the wings, we will call you. Doesn't matter, come, come. This is a prayer. Yes. Again, Joseph are here, so that the bar also hears. <laughs> that public interest litigation is for the benefit of public at large. So let that, that not be limited to <laughs> limited to the welfare. I mean, uh, limited to the knowledge of the lawyer or the person in. I mean, the applicant in person and the court. <laughs> let it be heard. Let the commanding appropriate the action commanding the respondent to submit to involve public develop a separate mechanism. Separate police force task force for the purposes of implementation of the provisions of the side and taking punitive action against the person and agency involved in the offenses relating to the side matters. Issue further activity to the direction commanding the respondent to separate the entire activity operation with respect to the search, seizure, recovery of any other offenses violation of provisions of the side from the operational activities of the local police administration by constituting a special task force for the offenses under the aforesaid side act. C. Appropriate order of action commanding the respondent to give equal priority and take punitive action against the wrongdoers of the society. And thus, in this background, command respond authority to take prompt action, institute immediate action for instituting FIR, especially with reference to the commission of other communicable offenses of burglary, robbery, theft, incident of chain snatching, etc. presently rampant. In the state of Bihar, especially in the urban areas of Patna, Tata would suffer you reading other prayers. Are these grounds for you to agitate before this court uh, for issues of any notice in this matter? But, uh, I mean, is it, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, we fail to understand that for implementation of a law, for effective implementation of law which is given because of a statute in existence. You are seeking a public interest litigation. Not on 10th of January, you don't see when asked other side to find a counter revenue. Yes, sorry, we don't agree to this. It doesn't fall within the domain of public interest litigation. Howsoever important to the issue, you may think it to be. You are a lawyer. A lawyer of some standing. I mean, in, your own right. in every mohalla, there is an incident of theft. But and that will come. Therefore, and seek just a minute. We are, we, are, we, are, we are giving importance to your understanding of the situation. Now, every day, some event of chain snatching is taking place. Every day, murders are taking place. Does this entitle a, a, a freelancer of uh, an interloper to come before us, come before any court of law and seek a direction to the authorities, the law enforcing agencies? To enforce it effectively so that it's crime free. Not when the matters are reported to the local police, they say that we are engaged in an excise that, matter. Therefore, that can, we are engaged in an excise matter. Uh, I'm, I'm engaged in a raid. I'm to raid my Yes, Mr. Advocate General. So, why did the Lord say these are only based on verbal? Lord said no, no. he. Uh, you, are, you, are, you, are giving, you are giving a platform to them, it's only verbal. No. Assuming everything in this uh, in this prayer to be correct, yeah. can a public interest litigation be entertained? No, so, tell you not. so therefore, argue for the threshold rejection. Yeah. So that's lots. That's why, because I saw lots. So that my lord is so he replied with respect to that. Because he, lots, these are the, can I put a question to myself? Can a public interest litigation be filed for these type? Yes, if we lots there is a particular. Case register. <laughs> Certainly, we lots one can come for monetary. One can say, come before this all report that the police is not taking. We are rejecting. We are not going to file an application. We are rejecting it, Mr. Singh. Just, just without being sarcastic, just without being harsh, we are rejecting the position. 
we would uh, we are we are we are uh, we are refraining ourselves from right after the new in the and the only reason is here the court first we are refraining ourselves from imposing cost on you and that to a heavy cost only for the reason that a, that another bench has entertained this that's how we we have made it very very clear across the board after giving it as this will only the fire was lost you are a responsible citizen. Forget about your being a lawyer. How can you engage the court with this kind of petition? And no responsibility with respect to that FIR. That's right. Well, that's that is, therefore, that would be a that would be a vested personal interest litigation. But the you know? This was with respect to the whole estate miller. You would make us forget the concept of public interest litigation. As somebody has rightly said, that public interest litigation lawyers, they are in the fourth phase. First three phases are gone. This is publicity seeking, nothing else. Take up. We are not imposing cost on you for the reason that we have made you open your bank and then address the court. <laughs> and the coordinate bench has entertained the petition issued notice. And which has necessitated the appearance of the advocate general. So your, your concern was considered to be genuine. That's the reason we are not imposing. We would have imposed a personal cost of 10,000 rupees. <laughs> yes, we mean it. You're not, an in, you're not an inexperienced lawyer. Should we draft a petition like this? And we'll give you reasons. Not that, we are, not that we are telling you just like that. All the grounds we will take into account and we'll say that not only it is frivolous, have prayed for certain directions to the government in the PIL jurisdiction for implementation of a piece of legislation to its fullest. We are afraid whether such a prayer is within the four corners of the PIL jurisprudence. Come on, to say the least, behind the veil of enforcing social justice and personal rights guaranteed under the Constitution and making the respondent slash government authorities remind themselves of the duties. Come on, there is a lurking, ugly, publicity seeking greed in maintaining this petition. A law especially when it deals with criminal jurisprudence is to be followed to the letter and spirit. Any aberration in the implementation of the law entitles an aggrieved party to approach the courts of law for redressal of the grievances. But in the present case, a prayer has been made that since there is no effective implementation of the prohibition laws in Bihar, comma, a special task force be constituted and the cases registered under the Prohibition Act should be taken to its logical conclusion expeditiously. Sorry, implementation of the punitive action. The further prayer in the red petition is the further prayer in the red petition is 
of taking punitive action against persons and agencies involved in the offenses relating to the excise laws of Bihar. So there are other cognate prayers listed in the petition, but the first prayer itself makes the petition liable to be dismissed, not stopped in battle. For, for any person to be to be caught in the net of the prohibition laws, a mechanism has been provided and a procedure and procedure has been delegated. For the authorities not acting in accordance with law, comma, there is no, there, there does not appear to be any free will of such officers. They are amenable to administrative control of the police department and of the directorate of prosecution. The petitioner, the petitioners, comma, lawyers in their own rights may have been agreed by some solitary instance or a couple of instances but that would not give them the justification to invoke the jurisdiction of this court for a prayer so mundane for a prayer so frivolous and not worth even noticing at the threshold stage it need not be repeated that Public interest litigation is one of the chief instruments of enforcing social justice. But with a caution that it ought not to be permitted to be degenerated into a weapon of seeking personal vengeance or ventilating one's own views or the most pernicious of all, seeking publicity, seeking publicity. So, assuming for a minute that the law is not being effectively carried out, can the courts in the public interest litigation direct for finding out the, the culprits, especially the police officers who have not done their duty so far and give direction to the courts to punish them. The answer lies in the question itself. The answer lies in the question only. Stop. If a particular officer is not following the mandate of law, he can be punished in the administrative side through departmental proceeding. First of all, if cases are gross, come on, such a delinquent officer or any stakeholder would be amenable to criminal prosecution. So we have not seen a, a criminal prosecution. For a law to be effectively administered, there are other ways to have it done, but certainly not through public interest litigation. First of all, in order to alleviate, in order to, in order to control the crime emanating out of breach of excise laws, comma, stringent provisions have been have been made. Any invocation of the root jurisdiction for such in stringent provisions to be to be complied with, comma, in a general manner, appears to us to be a misadventure on the part of the petitioners. Less said the better. We don't find any merit in the petition. <laughs> मेरा कहना था हजूर कि सारा सारा है कोर्ट पर सिर्फ सारू पे लगाया जा रहा है बाकी जो क्राइम है जनरल डे टू डे है और भी वन स्कूल स्कूल इसको इग्नोर कर रहा है ठीक है बीच में 
हमारा क्या मतलब होगी उसके लिए आप एस बना दीजिए लेकिन ये जो जनरल बर्गलरी है चोरी है स्नैचिंग है ये जो काम पुलिस करती थी उसको करने दीजिए और दीजिए when the when the petitioner heard the afford noted of the uske upar likha dismissed when the petitioner heard the afford noted observation of the bench come on he tried to explain his cause by stating that because of the proliferation in the number of cases because of the burgeoning number of cases under the excise law from a local police <coughs> uses such big number as a tool for avoiding to do its statutory duty when any other crime is reported first of in this context the petitioner explains from a that such a prayer was made for constitution of a dedicated special investigating team only for excise law cases so with this explanation also we find that the petitioner has not made out any case for interference and our observation in the in the beginning Would apply to a forced intention of the petitioner as well. There is no requirement of any explanation with respect to administration of criminal justice or policing by the courts. There can be no shield to an erring police officer. who would not respond to the call of distress of a citizen or citizen brain general no amount of over burden of work would justify would justify refusal to do a duty seen in this context also the prayers made on behalf of the petitioner appears to be absolutely off the line so we regret that such a prayer has been made by by part of the citizenry who is a qualified advocate the petition is dismissed ek jaur huzur ko indicate kar raha hu ji ke huzur ne sirf ye 10 ek 22 ko ek notice kar diya ki file response aur isi pe sari karwai ho gayi स्पेशल सब कुछ और ये सारा चीज जस्टिफिकेशन फॉर फाइलिंग द पिटिशन पिटिशन एज ड्रॉन दी अटेंशन ऑफ द स्पॉट to an order passed by a court made bench where my notice was issued to the respondent state for filing response to the petition <coughs> so the petitioner informs this court has informed this court that mere issuance of notice has resulted in dedicated wheel police and patrolling party in areas and fir also has been registered this very fact makes this petition the 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 cheer at this fact we give the cheer at this fact makes us doubly convinced that this is a personal vested interest personal slash vested interest litigation in order to make the respondent work make the make the make the police authorities work which inures to the benefit of the person approaching this court
I was doubly convinced that this is a personal slash vested interest deed. Vested interest deed. Along with the petitioner, we do also chair. We also chair. C H W R. That a fire has been lost at the instance of the petitioner, and the police has swung into action. But the objection of the bench is to. Issuance of a general direction for implementation of the law. We find this petition to be absolutely unjustified, misdirected, and with a with a with a different motive than for what the public interest litigation is normally filed and interpreted. The petition is dismissed. For your point, more long rules. Right. Personal interest can also be argued. Put a PR to let a person like the dwelling on a child. Next, next. So, personal interest. Select it, Mr.